Coming up on Split Second, how long can the driver survive against these articulated aggressors? If you've been looking for some rambunctious arcade racing, Split Second may be just what you're looking for. Split Second is sort of a one-trick pony, so you won't find the flexibility of MotorStorm Pacific Rift, the huge feature set of Burnout Paradise, or the beauty of Dirt 2. But that one trick Split Second does do, it does really well. It feels fast, it's got explosions galore, and there are moments where it's just pure fun in video game form. Split Second is a really shallow package that's not likely to hold your interest for long, but while it lasts, it's a hell of a ride. What makes Split Second different from its competitors is the concept of power plays. Each track is loaded with opportunities to destroy the environment and disrupt or wreck your opponents with a simple press of a button. When you draft, drift, or jump, you accumulate energy. When you have enough energy, icons will appear indicating that you can pull off a power play. Power plays have different effects. Sometimes it's a helicopter dropping explosives onto the track below. A tower might come crashing down or an entire airplane might go skidding across the track. You might open up a temporary shortcut for you to zip through. And in extreme cases, you might cause devastation that changes an entire section of the track. These various explosive locations are all scripted, so you'll quickly memorize them as you would memorize the course itself. But there's a whole lot of fun to be had wrecking three or four opponents at once with a well-timed power play. Just be careful. If you don't time things right, you might end up wrecking yourself. If you've played Mario Kart, you know the pain of falling victim to a blue shell. Split Second may seem like it's nothing but blue shells, and it's true that some power plays are all but inescapable. But trigger points are laid out intelligently, and the game gets you back into the race quickly. Plus, you can squeeze your way through much of the time without a wreck. So even though crashes are inevitable, they're almost never frustrating. Besides, lagging behind the pack means you can unleash destruction on the leaders. Races aren't as chaotic as those in, say, Burnout Takedown, but there's no doubting that they're fun. It helps that the racing model is solid, and many of the vehicles you unlock later feel nice and fast. On top of the usual races and elimination events, there are modes where you avoid a helicopter's missiles or deflect them back. There's also a really cool mode in which you avoid the explosive barrels a series of semi-trucks dumps onto the track in front of you. But while these are really fun diversions, power plays are really all there is to this game. In a short period of time, a certain amount of predictability sets in as you learn where each point of danger is. That's when you realize that underneath the power plays is a pretty shallow arcade racer. In today's exciting episode... Fire. Split Second is structured as a series of television episodes, but aside from the little cutscenes that end and start each episode, it doesn't do anything with the premise. You earn decals that automatically show up on your vehicles over time, but aside from those and setting a color, there's no customization. The online play is great fun, but customization options are incredibly scant there too. You can't limit a race to certain vehicles, and there are no unranked public matches. And if you're hosting a match with friends, you can't even set the number of laps. It's all pretty bare bones. Also, if you're picking up the PC version, be warned that all the signs of a quick and dirty port are all here. The button prompts don't change if you plug in a controller like in most racing games, for example. And when you get the option to view an instant replay, the game doesn't tell you what button to press to view it. A bunch of stuff like that makes the PC version feel a little bit slapped together. When a game is this bare bones across the board, it's hard to stay invested for long. This is the kind of game you play for a weekend and then put back on the shelf. But while it lasts, Split Second is lightning in a bottle. There are adrenaline rushes galore in here, so if you just want some unadulterated throwaway fun and a bunch of explosions, Split Second's got you covered.